Grounds for a Turn is inspired by a lot of the things that I saw happening where I come from in Ghana. All of the fads around coconut water and coconut cosmetic products generated a lot of waste. And the waste was this really bulk, heavy material called the husk. Thinking about that as a resource became the inspiration for a lot of my research. And it also links to the history of many African countries that have been exporting for centuries really low value agricultural waste or products and never participating in the value creation or circulation of what gets made from that. The thresholds for return is actually in reference to the door of no return. For many people, especially where I'm from, that door is a very heavy symbol of the history of slavery and also the ongoing history of extraction. I remember the first time I saw the door of no return in one of the largest slave forts in Ghana. It was so intense that that image has been seared in my mind ever since. For me, that piece was about trying to not walk away or avoid the heaviness, but to go into it and think about how we flip the meaning and the metaphor of what it means to return. The view that you're seeing is sort of an inverse of what you would have seen if you were a slave about to board a ship severance with everything you've ever known in your family. If you were on a boat, looking back at land again, what would that look like? And what would the materials around that look like? And so it's very much the coconut tree landscape that you see in front of it. And then you have the coconuts that build up the actual door of return. I became more interested in thinking about low energy, non-toxic distributed forms of production. And my mycelium became the boat to explore that model with. Healing Meadow is basically a landscape, a meadow, that has mycelium that enframe a lot of herbs. That landscape actually was a wallscape in a kitchen where you were growing and consuming these plants as part of your daily cooking rituals. Here I decided to flip it into a meadow. There are all sorts of plants, flora, where violence or extreme extraction has happened that actually start to thrive, and it's a signal that healing is taking place our soil systems, our production systems that have been working for us for so long need time and space to heal, and how do we celebrate that? The new installation, Elemental Table, is a product of four years of collaboration with one of Africa's most prominent chefs, Lassia Tadeka. The dining table is broken down into trays, and they're actually market trays that women typically carry on their head and put on urban surfaces to sell food and that became the root for the entire table. In the table, there are three scales. The largest one is where you eat. The second size is for where you begin to share, so they're lazy Susans. And that's a very important part of the food culture in Ghana. And then the smallest size is uh, food that is passed along, and those are precious, more smaller scale herbs, seasoning, spices. So the table is entirely interactive, but it's about food rituals and relationship to the environment. If we think about the generative justice framework, architects and designers are sitting in between clients and the people who own all of these systems of extraction. And we've consistently been driving that engine and our business model hasn't changed for a long time. Trying to find different ways of unalienating, putting yourself in between the building and the agricultural sector, thinking about waste as a resource for building once again, blows open the role of what an architect or a designer could be today. That involves learning very new skills, being able to look at our environment and our materials very differently. It also means getting to know our ground and our ecology much better. And I think that also has to be incorporated into our languages as designers, as builders. This idea of spaces as well as unalienation became core to the journey that you see here in C33. Many things in this exhibition came together in a way that surprised me, and it made the work much more aligned than it was before, so in many ways it was a gift.